Good evening, I'm Jeff Vaughn, in tonight for Rick Garcia. And I'm Pat Harvey. A fallen hero comes home for the final time. The body of firefighter Brent Witham arrived in San Bernardino about an hour ago with full honors. Hundreds of fellow firefighters and other members of the community turned out for the procession. Yeah, it has been a solemn procession, of course, as the community right now shows its love and gratitude. And CBS 2's Randy Page is live with reaction from those who came out to pay their respects. Randy. Well, Pat, Jeff, as you know, all first responders run into danger to try to protect the rest of us. These elite firefighters, these hotshots, not only run into danger and try to help people in their own neighborhoods, but they jump on a plane and go any place that they are needed. Brett with Brent Witham was killed while he was fighting a fire in Montana, and today he came home. The U.S. Forest Service aircraft touched down on the hot tarmac and taxied toward the waiting hearse while Brent Witham's family and friends made the long walk onto the airfield to meet him. As the special forces are to the military and the SWAT team is to law enforcement, Witham was a member of the elite firefighting force known as Hotshots, who were sent deep into wildland fires to do battle with their bare hands. Highly trained, highly professional, and willing to go directly into harm's way. The 29-year-old Hotshot came from a family of first responders. His grandfather was a Hotshot too. His father was with the California Highway Patrol and his uncle, a fellow hotshot firefighter. Brent was killed on Wednesday while fighting a fire in Montana when a dead tree fell on him. The sister of another hotshot, Carmen Marquez, brought her daughter, Santi, to witness the somber arrival. It's very emotional to, to see a fallen fire brother come out of the plane and I feel pain as if it was my own brother. I feel heartbroken for the families, as well as all wildland fire families across the United States. It's a loss for all of us. Her message to Brent's family? I want you to know that all of our hearts are with you guys. Brent Witham's body was taken to a nearby memorial park. There, an honor watch will stand guard 24 hours a day until he is interned and his memorial is scheduled for Thursday. Let's go back to you.